Today is the 17th February, Friday, 12, 18 p.m. So today I'm going to make some Hainanese rice to complement the roast pork that I, uh, roast pork belly that I got from hashtag BPP or blood pork something something. Uh, that's in Kota Damansara. Very delicious, very spicy too. Oh my god. So let's see the ingredients that I have. I'm not sure what I have. Actually, I turn this on. <coughs> This is a roast pork belly. Ooh, yo, six of it. Mm, with a super spicy chili sauce. Very spicy. And uh, my voice is a bit off already because uh, I think I'm nursing a hangover from yesterday's events. So, welcome to another continuous cooking. And the wire that I had used uh, to power my camcorder from the smart, uh, smart power bank is not working that well, so I don't want to make. Instead of using the repaired one, which I repaired for eight ringgit, or roughly about less than two US dollars, I'm going to buy one. Ask them to make another one, so the connection will be not that bad. Uh, chicken stock, <laughs> rice, some of it. Uh, it's not much actually. I should add some more. Uh, normally, when you make the rice, is uh, using the not using not only water to boil it or make the rice puffy or rehydrate the rice uh, it's not water it's uh, actually chicken stock I mean the chicken that you have poached or boiled the water I mean you take the chicken a big piece of chicken with the head and ass still in it or on it put in the water hot water and the water will have the, all the scum or the oil from the chicken and that is the chicken stock and the chicken stock is used to cook the rice that's how it is but since I don't have a big ass chicken and I did not boil anything at all, except my balls, uh, so that's why there's a Maggie chicken stock there, which is very powerful and potent. So just use a bit to do to give it a chickeny taste. Add a bit of rice, just a bit. Just a tip. Sausage party, chilies. I don't need any chilies at all because the wow, chili from this place is just super spicy, man. It burns. You've never tasted nuclear missiles before, which I think uh, nobody will survive if they have tasted nuclear bombs and missiles. Then this chili at B, hashtag BBP, hopefully I leave it in the comments below the how to get to that place. Uh, yep, what do I do next? Oh, wash the rice to get rid of the excess starch and powder and weevils. Two weevils, the black little elephant beetles that love to eat. The rice. Wash it. And there's some weevil carcasses. They die because you put, or I put the bag of rice that has some live weevil and eating on the delicious starch content or power content or energy content because it's got sugar rice starch becomes sugar So I should not have uh, washed the rice because uh, from the view YouTube video that I saw uh, involving I think Amy Wong, no, 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 the one the, the very skinny anorexic Chinese girl from Penang or was it from Malacca who's residing in Australia is a celebrity in Australia when it comes to Asian cooking looks uh, very frail and you can snap it like a twig, twig. So let's see here, uh, rice. Hopefully it will dry enough so I can toast it, which I've never done before. So I need a vessel for cooking the rice that can also close. Maybe I'll use this one. For closing it. 
steaming it. You have to steam the rice, right? Maybe this one will do. So, will it be enough to close the whole thing? Okay, okay, never mind. I will use uh, this one here to close the rice, you know. So it has a nice diameter or it's large enough to cover a large portion. Whereas this one here is just too small. So, yeah, I'm going to use back the clay uh, clay pots lid to close the close it to let it cook the rice. It takes some time. You turn off the heat and you let it wait it for a while. Let it rest so that it so that it steams it in, in its own. I mean, cooks it in its own steam. So to make uh, this. Hainanese rice, hopefully it will be yellow. You need a bit of garlic. I don't, I'm not sure whether three is enough or not, or too much. I'm not sure. Three cloves. Cloves, yeah, about. Uh, ginger would be, would, would be awesome, but no onions involved. Ginger, ginger. I don't think I have any ginger, so shit. Oh. So. I think I'll end up making just garlic rice. No gin. Oh, got lots of old cheese here. Forgot about it. So no ginger, no go. No bueno. What does it mean? No bueno. It's Spanish, right? Still got some fried rice there. Oh God, no ginger. Hmm, it won't be as fragrant as it can be. Shit. So another step is to oh, got a double chin, getting fat, got to lose weight. Uh, I think that I should use is a pandan leaf. It's a what nice warm day. Today I have to go to uh, mines, which is very far away. I have to use the kasas. Then on the way to Seremban, and uh, they're very complicated. Very far away for the for the events from 6:30 p.m. to. 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. Hino. Hino is a company, this is Pandan Leaf. Hino is a company that uh, makes. What do they make? Uh, I'm still hangover from yesterday. Uh, what do they make? Ah, they make. Uh, this is a he H I N O. Hino makes. Uh, what should we call it? Tractors. Not tractors, lorries. So this Pandan Leaf smells very fragrant. It's going to fragrance the rice. Is there a single word that's fragrant rice? Fragrant nice. Fragrant nice, not fragrant rice. Fragrant nice. N I Z E. Fragrant N I Z E. Not, not Nazi. Nice becomes Nazi. What? Fragrant nice the rice. Heil Hitler. Yabul, Yabu, my Führer. The Jews must be exterminated. So let's see here. Uh, this is a reference to Cutie Bai, who, surprisingly enough, is dropped from Disney company, dropped from uh, Google's uh, Scare Cutie Bai, uh, so for it, Scare Cutie Bai program, and also was dropped from his uh, Maker Studio, which is the MCN or Multi Channel Network. I was like taking a shit and uh, going through the Reddit forum, right? Um, Okay, I'm, I'm ashamed to say I'm a redditor or I like to post my shit in reddit and walk and read all the first 300 posts of uh, like not safe for work and brass and TT draw blah 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 oh, not say all the things that I like on reddit so no no ginger here I mean shit no ginger so shit so it's quite different from how I make uh, rice this time it's not involving the clay pot so i got three cloves not bulbs cloves of garlic was it pip confused now uh, pip right yeah pip pip cloves is for what no? bulb i know is the whole whole shebang of uh, garlic ah who cares when you have a hangover you just like don't remember much so today there's actually an event at PWTC or Putra World Trade Center that's called Techn Malaysian Technology Expo I don't think I want to go there because it sounds boring as fuck 
Okay, then I might add another smaller pip here. Not the pip boy or pippin from Lord of the Rings. No, 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 not those pips. But the pip of the garlic. Welcome to another continuous cooking. Very long video, zero content. Or zero advice or zero insight or how to learn. You just concentrate on how I fuck things up. If I'm fucking things up. Or if you're successful, hopefully you Ow! Never ever put a wok or quali or cast iron, whatever, on the floor because you're going to like hit it and oh god, I don't know whether to scratch it or not. My, I don't care about the, not, I don't give a shit about that. The scratch on my ankle when I banged it. That's the thing that I care about. I don't care about that quality because it's definitely stronger and more durable than my ankles. Oh, oh this hangover. I mean, feeling very lethargic even after sleeping from 2 p 2 a.m. to 8 a.m. So got six hours sleep should be okay. So chop it finely. So suppose go to that Putra Go Trade Center, PWTC aka, which uh, the Comic Fiesta 2016 was held. Uh, uh, it's, this, it sounds boring, so I'm not going to go there. But uh, today I want to like, uh, at 4pm I'll start my journey to Pudu area to get a new wire for the connection between my camcorder and the power bank because the fixed wire that I fixed for 8 ringgit about a couple of days ago, or was it yesterday, I'm not sure. Uh, I think two days ago maybe. Yeah, two days ago. Wasn't working well. So, when it, when you move it a bit and it loses its connection, it won't connect back straight away to power things up. And uh, yeah, it's not working well. So I had to take out one of the connectors, either from the battery, connect uh, smartphone. It's not smartphone. I keep on! I keep on confusing the smartphone and the power bank. For power bank, there's a USB Type B, I think, or Type Two. So I take it out and put it back again when I don't have the icon where it says where there are three or two or one bar of uh, of bars that indicates the battery strength or or health. Green comes yellow, yellow comes red. So red is one bar. Two bars is yellow, three bars is green. So when that one is there, which is around here, if it's there, that means there's no battery or AC running into the into the camcorder. Therefore, the power bank is not working. It's not like uh, it's not like the juice or the electricity is not flowing into the camcorder. So to take out the USB 2.0 and put it back again, and suddenly uh, three bars, two bars, or one bar red, green or yellow would just disappear that means it's powering from the smart not smart power bank and uh, when I move around a bit and suddenly lose connection for a while and suddenly boop that little niche that is that corner that has nothing at all and suddenly it becomes three bars, two bars or one bar that means it's not being powered by the power bank so shit Uh, make the rice takes about 20 minutes do it now so I want to make a new uh, wires so that it will be pristine and not fucked up like this old wire which was repaired it takes about 20 ringgit to make a new wire so heat it up put a bit of oil vegetable oil onion oil vagina oil eye oil Ball sweat oil, whatever oil, just as long as it is got the word oil on it or is described as O I L. So heat it up a bit. So I want to go to Pudu there, Jalan Pasar, I think it's called. Uh, I uh, forgot what's the name of the shop. So I'm going to make another custom wire. And after that, uh, hopefully it's around 5 pm, 6 pm. Go to mines is far away from here, Petaling Jaya, but from uh, from Bukit Bin is it Bukit Bina? From the Pudu area, sorry, from the Pudu area or Jalan Pasar around there. Not sure how far it is from the mines. So I had to go and consult my Google Maps. Okay, there's uh, smoking already now. Put some 
garlic into it for pips of garlic. Ah, the name of the, the Australian Malaysian celebrity is Amy Po. Not Amy Poo, which is shit. Uh, Poo is shit, eh? Right? P O O. It's Amy Po, P O H, from Lanka or Penang. I think it's from Penang. So I watched the video and I got the idea. Too bad, <coughs> too bad I don't have any ginger or crushed ginger to make the Hainanese rice to complement the roast pork belly. So it's kind of like, uh, for right now, put this in to fragrance the pandan or cook the pandan a bit. And next up, oh, I smell the pandan really good. So smelly. I mean, so fragrant and nice. If you smelly, that means it, it means that it's disgustingly disgusting smell. So put the rice into it, the uncooked rice. Jasmine rice will be nice, but nah. Oh boy. Pour it with the oil. So just toast the rice a bit. When you're doing that, when you if you're using jasmine uh, rice, uh, hopefully the jasmine is like dry, so it won't like splatter everywhere the oil. So we got some remnants of uh, this thing here. So I'm gonna like uh, pour water, enough water to cook the rice, to wash it. Uh, hot water or cold water is up to you. I think this is the uh, right amount to cook the rice in. Not sure. Wash it around. Push it all into the water. Chicken stock, uh, maybe a bit. Just to give it a bit of uh, taste. Not too much. I think this is enough for one person. I think there's too much, but no, no. It's quite salty. So this uh, Maggie chicken stock makes it seem like chicken soup. It smells really good. Mm, salty. Mm. Can add a bit more salt if I wanted to. It's all up to you. So how, how salty you want, you want your Hainanese rice to be. Pepper? Nah, I don't want pepper. Rice is uh, nicely coated with the oil. So now the water, chicken stock, and water to cook the rice. Is it too much water? I'm not sure. Bring it to a boil. <clears throat> I'm surprised that I don't have any. I mean, uh, I um, should have some. Some uh, like call uh, sore throat from yesterday's uh, eating at the ice ten. So the the ice ten, uh, the, the Japan store of Malaysia or lot ten, has, has opened its uh, its fourth floor with uh, addition. I mean the fourth floor has about five five uh, restaurants, small little kitchens. So go do check it out if you are in the area or in Malaysia. Expensive of course, but uh, that's what you get to get the real authentic Japanese experience that you only can get in Japan and not anywhere else. So, so there are many Japanese stores in uh, Malaysia. So that's one of them now to get food. Sushi stuff is of course everywhere, definitely. But uh, we'll have another, another authentic shop around does not does not make things bad. So I'm gonna like uh, heat up the roast pork belly in the oven, which is uh, the oven is here. To preheat the oven for a while at 200 degrees Celsius maybe or 180 is up to you. 
Not like 200. 200 is a nice number, I think. But if there was a 69, then I would love that type of number. So now it's boiling. Just leave it to boil and uh, turn down the heat because it's boiling now. So just let it simmer for a while. It's not yellow in color because there's no ginger in it. God damn it. So I got this uh, thing here to. Oh, I gotta get rid of this thing here. Don't need this here. So any bacteria or stuff that's left behind by cockroaches walking on it would be die. Actually, better safe than sorry. Wash it, wash it with just a bit of water. Get rid of all the bacteria and disgusting things found on the legs of a cockroach. So roast pork belly from BPP, very delicious, and the crunch of the uh, pork pork skin, which is uh, very rough and. Uh, we call those things uh, very, very not smooth, it's very crunchy. So, uh, don't, I'm not sure, don't heat it up using the microwave. All you need to do is just put it in the oven and heat it up that way. Mustard sauce tastes like mustard. This chili sauce is potent, extremely potent. Be careful. I already got some on this uh, here, I think that's enough. So, do I need more chili? No, I don't need more chili. Mm. So, put this in the oven. Oh, fuck, man. I, I put my fingers into the. Whatever I call it. My mouth, and I can really taste this burn. So, uh, maybe 3 minutes, 5 minutes. Uh, no idea. Oh, now it's beginning to like look like it's dry, the water is gone. Now it's time to like close it for a while. Like so let it steam in its own whatever. Turn up the heat. Make sure it's closed fully. La. It would be nicer if it's closed fully or fully closed. And the chilies, extra chilies here would be put inside the freezer for extraction later on if I'm feeling like I'm like like I want to kill my Kill the cells, my sense of, of of smell and whatnot. Turn down the heat. It's really steaming now. You can see that steam there. Turn it down again. Not too hot. I don't want to really completely burn the damn thing. I want it coked, not burned to a crisp or turn black. So if I want to like have a very strong chili, go to BPP, order their pork and ask for the chili. Oh my god. That's the spiciest thing I've ever tasted. Yeah, but right, I should have uh, have some of those uh, we call sore throat. Yesterday I had a very fun time at Isotan. Oh shit, I was really really steaming. So, you can hear the crackling really, it's time to turn it off. If you smell burning smell, that means it's really really time to turn it off the fire. And let it rest for 10 minutes and after that, okay the steam is gone already. So, if you think that's disturbing, then you can close it up just to stop the steam from really steaming out of the, I mean getting out of the pothole or whatever into the fire or something like that. This one here, of course, you don't need to heat up the the salad or whatever because you don't need to. You heat it up, it dies or becomes wilty, wilty. <clears throat> so, are we waiting for the rice? And this one too. Hopefully by the time I come back, it won't turn into a black charred mess of unedible bitterness. Uh, I need to get a drink. Not that type of beer drink is something else that I'm talking about. Uh, 
some cider. Oh, I love cider nowadays. Oh, I love Somerset apple cider. Apple cider, mmm. The teenagers of uh, Britain, they have the right thing, you know. They keep on buying uh, loads and loads of uh, cider for their weekend or weekday, actually. I think they get this every single day by, uh, with a bottle of brown apple cider. Did not like uh, fancy it back then when I was like, how old oh, was I? About 30 years old, I think. 30 ish or less. Didn't fancy it, but now as I grow older, or this Chinese New Year, which is 2017, my parents bought one or two or six packs of cans of uh, apple cider, and hey, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty nice. Apple cider. Very the nice. Very nice compared to beer. Beer, of course, I like beer, I don't like wine. I like beer more. It's pretty awesome, you know? Apple cider. It's like flavored beer. Yeah, apple cider is like flavored beer. Beer. This uh, uh, winter melon tea, hopefully, is uh, it's not sweet. Hopefully, it has the properties of cooling one's body down. Is it getting better? It's uh, glistening, so the heat is doing something to it. Okay, just leave it for a few minutes, no problem. By the time I come back, it won't be a black mess. So, yesterday's uh, event at Isotan was pretty awesome. Awesome and gay. unfortunately, I only had the chance to try three restaurants. The uh, restaurants, of course, they serve tidbits, a small little edible portions of uh, the food. Unfortunately, because I was film <laughs> filming around and I don't want to wait because the lines were so long. So, I get I drink the beer coke, coke, in uh, nice little glasses, then I would go out into the parking lot, which is quite near, and smoke there. So you don't need a balcony, you just need the parking lot near, it's quite near. Let's go out, exit near the elevator, go into the, the staircase. Normally staircases are where people or Malaysians uh, smoke. But I just go one, st one flight up and that's the uh, car park. And you look at my eyes, it's still so puffy. I still have a very tired, lethargic, I'm lethargic. Lethar lethargy means uh, tiredness. It's, uh, Fancy way of saying I'm tired. Oh. It's about uh, noon, I think now. Oh, let's see, 1248 pm according to this camcorder. So I drank a couple of, uh, I think, four or five small little cups of beer. And of course, uh, a sparkling wine. And I tried the what Kalpis water, which I cannot describe at all. I'm not sure what it is actually. So far, corn tea was all right. There's taste of corn in it. So Kalpis water is a enigma to me. I can't describe the taste at all. What's it made of? Well, maybe it has like say that uh, durian blunder, not blunder as in oh. I fucked up, not that blunder. Durian Belanda. That mean, Belanda means Holland in Malay. Or in English, how do you say it? Belanda is Holland in English. Or is it Belanda is Holland in Malay? Which one is correct? Shit, my English is going to down to, down to the shitters. Oh. I forgot what's the name of Durian Belanda in uh, English, I forgot already. I, I think it has a bit of taste. Uh, it tastes like Kelpie's water, I think so. But less fruity compared to Durian Belanda drink. Then I even forgotten what Chandran, I think it's Chandran, the Indian guy, uh, told me what it's made of. I forgot already what it's made of. Rice, he says, or is it something else? I'm not sure. And the manager of that. Uh, the restaurant, Mr. Cow, uh, from Ipo. Hmm. Had an awesome time there, definitely. Very awesome. 
Bender. So we travel from uh, Isotan, Lot 10 to Koto Damansaru, which is very far away. Can't believe I survived the, the trip, even though I, I mean I was tipsy. Driving around, I seem to think that uh, I have I'm an even more awesome uh, motorcyclist when I'm kind of like tipsy, braver, don't give a shit. Normally when I'm sober, I just oh I'm scared of this, I gotta be careful, blah blah blah. But when I'm tipsy, I'm just riding fast, hundred kilometers an hour, ninety kilometers an hour. So survived, got to Kota Damansara, went to a hashtag BP, BPP, got that spicy sauce and also the roast pork belly because I signed up to their newsletter and you get 200 ringgit worth of food to try out. So it's only applicable for yesterday. So that's why I went from ISO 10, Lot 10 to BPP. Today at Mines at the Hino tractor, not tractor, Hino lorry event. Maybe they have alcohol again. Shit. It's pretty far away from Petalin Jaya. That's why my friend David also said, Oh, I do not know how to go to Mines. It's fucking far away. I'm trying to find somebody who's going there so they can hitch a ride. I can't give a ride because I'm on a motorcycle. I can, but. Motorcycles are dangerous. Do not ride your motorcycle in Kuala Lumpur, especially. But if you are extra careful, that means chances of uh, getting shit, shit accident is uh, lower. And of course, uh, that depends on the motorists, other motorists, cars or motorcyclists. They might fuck up and kill you. So. Yeah, there's another equation that you have to consider. People fucking up and killing you or banging into you. Or forcing you to swerve or stop and suddenly at the back of you there's a car then you're fucked. Things ready, hopefully it's not a burning mess. It's not, thank God. You can see the oil glistening on the petri dish, or not petri dish, turn it off. Oh, let it cool down. Whoa, it's hot. Hiding. The rice, hopefully, is cooked. If I open it up, the steam will escape. And you won't have the same effect of cooking it in its own steam. Okay, I can't like, lift it up actually, it's stuck. And I think I coughed yesterday, very strong cough and suddenly my back aches again. Painful, very painful. It's like the time when I had that collar thing, you know, broken collar. Does it sound from like 10 minutes? Get the shit on me. Uh, broken collar. Oh, it's painful, man. Yeah, suddenly I cough. Maybe I just like extended my muscle or the micro fracture has cracked again. I think it's a micro fracture due to Gurney Hotel elevator smashing into my back. Ah, lovely, <coughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. Smells good too. If above is cooked, the bottom will surely be cooked as well. 
blade it into put it on a plate. Oh shit, forgot to take out the pandan leaf that gives it a nice fragrance. Get some of the rice off it. Ah, okay, fuck it. Can eat the pandan, but uh, it's a bit tough. Nobody eats the pandan, okay? Don't be weird. Don't be weird, nigger. Oh, a lot of rice, man. Fuck. It. Supposed to be on a diet. Nowadays, I don't wash the quali quali with uh, detergent. I just use brute force and water. That's the, all you need to wash the, the wok. sound of the metal thing because of the foil and the, the fan so I was wondering what the hell am I paranoid did I take cannabis I did not do drugs okay I don't do drugs with this salad that has been christened with the spicy sauce very spicy sauce Spicy sauce, very very potent. Careful, very scary actually. Have oil, chili oil, mother. Just a bit, not too much. It's very spicy. Okay, I'm not joking. Very spicy. Okay, more. I think there's some called mm, onions inside it. Tissue from BPP. Oh, it's a big tissue. Very big tissue. Very, very big tissue. Holy shit. Now transfer this into this. Already, 
No idea. Whoa. Awesome, awesome. Ooh. And the sauces. The, not the sauce, the, the cold. Um, oil. It's a bit too hot. Put it back on the roast pork. Ow! Okay, okay. It's getting a bit too hot. Even with the... Put it all over. Mm. Delicious. Nice. Still got some oil on the big spoon. Coat it with the rice. There you have it. And then it's rice. Yum. Hopefully. Let's taste it and see. Would have been more awesome if there was ginger in the rice. With the roast pork. Oh, hot, hot. Roast pork, hot. Oh, roast pork is very hot. From the tea. Chili, chili rice. The, the crackling, the skin is not as crunchy as when I was eating it in the BPP. So tapao or takeaway won't be the won't be the same. So you have to go to BPP at Kota Damansara there to try out the very crunchy skin of the rose pot belly. Chili. So you get a taste of tomato and oh, 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 woo, good stuff. Thank you, BBB or BPP, BBP, I'm not sure which one. Nice place, go and go there. Okay, see you next one. Bye-bye.